Hi everyone, Mikey Blythe here, and today we're back with some more Arietta of Spirits. The full playthrough, after playing the demo a couple of years ago, I say a couple, five, we uh, we got cracking on our playthrough of the full version, which I have had sitting in my library for a while. Ah, uh, one of the many games, many games I've had sitting that I am happy to finally be playing. So in the first part, we... Went to some vacation, to the woods, to a cabin in the woods that was our grandma's cabin. And we have now got a new friend called Arco, who's like a ghost spirit dog thing. Not really a ghost, more of a guide. I, I, I can't remember what it was now. But anyway, we also bumped into grandma's ghost who can't move on because she lost her silver ring. So we're trying to find it. Which probably means beating up some... Holy! Bats, apparently, yeah. Holy bat! Like that. I wasn't expecting wasps after sundown. We fought some super fun wasps last time. Seems it's going to be bats now because it's. E oh no, never mind. There's wasps too. Alright, cool. Why not? Why not wasps? So, yes, we're on a mission to find the ring. So, I'm assuming there's going to be another wonderful boss guarding it. Since we have a new enemy in the line of bats, it's probably going to be a bat boss. See, I can't remember... Uh oh I can't remember... Oh. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember where the demo left off last time. I didn't go back and revisit it because I wanted to go in... I wanted to go back into the game as, like, annoying as possible. And my memory, uh, as people who will know me, is shocking. So I have forgotten quite a lot of the game, except the aesthetics. I definitely recall these wonderful, wonderful aesthetics. But everything else, story-wise and stuff, most of it, had gone. So I like it that way. It means I get surprised again when things happen. It's sometimes, it's sometimes good having a sucky memory. Oh, it certainly... Oh, certainly not being shy about throwing more enemies at me this time, isn't it? We have successfully navigated that screen. I wonder if I should be taking the bushes out because when we were attacking the bushes before, it was only chucking out hearts. I don't know if there's anything else it can really they can really give me. You know, I don't know how to make my life bar bigger or anything. You can't even see the life bar, can you? You can't even see the life bar. I'm gonna have to rectify that at once. There we are. Sorry about that. Wow, the whole first video you couldn't see the life bar. I I I am I am such a professional even after all these years. I haven't lost it. Because I didn't have it to begin with. You can't lose what you don't have. And just like that, as soon as I put my health bar so you can see it, I lose some health. There you go. What is this? Is this tree got a tongue? Oh, it's a birdhouse. <laughs> it's a birdhouse. I thought the tree was like... <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> Why is that the first thing I saw, not a birdhouse? <laughs> <laughs> is this tree being rude? What's happening? Oh, there's multiple paths. Possibly. Unless it all just loops into a big circle. Oh, it does, doesn't it? I need to check. I need to be sure. Yep, there we go. There's the, there's the tree tongue again. All right. It does just loop around. That's good to know. Good to know. Hey, you can't be doing this. You think I can focus on multiple things at a time? What kind of gamer do you think I am? A good one? Don't be foolish. Well, this is a big area, though. Again, I don't... There's no experience points, so beating up all the enemies isn't really gaining me anything. It's good practice of swinging the sword, though, I suppose. That's my bad. Oh, I can't hit you from there, can I? I feel bad killing bats. I like bats. Bats are nice. Sorry to the wasps, because I don't feel as bad about taking them out. <laughs> there's something, there's something like, uh, like there's something inside of me that always tells me that killing bats is inherently wrong. Uh, but bats are, I don't know how widespread that is, but bats, bats are a protected species in the UK. You're not allowed to just kill a bat. If you find bats in your uh, property somewhere, usually in the attic, uh, or like sometimes where the like drains and stuff are uh, on the roof. You're not allowed to just kill them. You can get fined for that. 
you have to contact like professional, like bat experts who will come and safely remove them and relocate them for you. Um, but I think that should be the case for a lot of animals that could be, you know, accidentally intrusive on your property. Um, I mean, I want to say apart from wasps, but I mean, even wasps, I guess, have some merit. I don't, I don't want to be super mean to wasps for the sake of it. Although wasps can cause way more immediately immediate health hazards, shall we say, than bats can. Not saying that bats can't cause health hazards, but wasps good good but they're gonna sting you a lot, so anyway. Wait. Before we head deeper into the forest, there's something you should know. Now? Tell me now? Why can't you tell me this earlier? What is it? The echoes of those who once lived are not the only inhabitants of the spirit realm. My annoying, my annoying cousin's also kicking around somewhere, and I swear if he sees you, you'll never get rid of him. He'll just, but he'll bug you forever. And I'm not talking about my kind either. Oh well, that 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 screws up my cousin theory. There actually exists many different ethereal entities. Some of them are friendly, even helpful in some ways, although that's rare. Um, tell me there's some bad ghosties kicking around. But then there are the malevolent kind. We call them uh, Romas. They are a vile race, constantly moving from one place to another. Oh, hence the name Roma. Okay, gotcha. I understand now. They roam around. Cool. Seeking to absorb energy from anything they come across in an attempt to grow more powerful. And as a bound, you will be their target now too, I'm afraid. Oh, could have really definitely used this information before you went ahead and did that. The Romas use the energy they absorb to multiply themselves. And that's why their numbers are constantly rising. Like a disease spreading through the spirit realm, soon affecting everyone. Is there something else you want me to deal with? One of our most important tasks has always been to keep them at bay. I had no idea. Well, how would you? How would you? You literally only learned of this world like what? I mean, I don't even want to try and guess. An hour ago? Ish? So these Romas are the monsters that Grandma was talking about? And they're now all over the forest? Is there any way to defend myself against them? Will the wooden sword do the trick? Hold out your wooden sword. Oh, cool. Am I, is my wooden sword getting a boost? In its current form, it will be completely useless against them. But I can use my energy to awaken its full potential. My wooden sword has potential. Everything's got potential. Oh. Oh, nice. Whoa, what happened to it? I turned it blue. Isn't it cool? That's it. Everything else in essence is still the same. Your wooden sword isn't just any old toy. It's actually quite special. It is something we call a conduit. Conduits are special artifacts that function as links between the realms. So this thing can hurt ethereal and real things. Connecting every level of existence to another be it human or spirit, or wasp or bat, or tree with a tongue. The bond you share with it can be used to our advantage. So, swish, swish, kill, kill, you know what I mean? Although, to be honest, it is not the most powerful conduit out there. Is that a hint that there's other weapons in the game? Is that what you're telling me? But it's powerful enough to make it possible for me to direct my energy through it. And enhance every strike you make with it. Any roamer unfortunate enough to get caught in the blade's way will most definitely feel it. Conduits are hard to come by, so take good care of it. 
It's made of wood. It's made of wood. It's, it's kind of breakable. Besides, rumors are always looking to get their hands on one. I've seen you swing a sword many times before. Are you going to teach me a new move while we're at it? Wooden or not, you are more than capable of handling yourself with it. Well, yeah, but swatting a couple of angry wasps is a different thing. And bats, don't forget the bats. You need to trust yourself more. Give it a try. Oh, can I swish? Okay. Here goes. Ooh. Your wooden sword has been turned into a spirit sword. Hell yeah. Now you have the means to defend yourself against the Romas. I love her cute face that's really it's such an adorable game nice <laughs> nice i know you want to help your grandmother no matter what it takes remember arietta we're in this together the only way for us to stand up to them is to combine our strengths so you make that sword swing and i make sure every hit it lands counts right can we get on with the swishing and the killing and stuff now and please, call me Ari. I was going to actually mention that, since everybody else calls it Ari. Cute. Fun. Now I just need to learn some combos. Super Hyper Mega Stab! There's a free one for you, Ari. You're welcome. You can have that one. You can have that one for nothing. Okay, that's not a bat. That's not a charger bat. That was just a regular old bat, apparently. Trail Oh, Roma's are... Oh, right, we're in Roma territory now. The Romers are a-kicking. The Romers are a-lurking. Time to kill some ghosties. Uh. How did it... Did I get... Whoa! Hang on a second. I still wonder how it hit me the first time. Was it when I slide? Because I slide forward a tiny bit when I swing. So did I slide forward just a bit much and slide into it after I hit it? Damn, I'm going to have to be careful how I swish. I'm going to have to start doing a bit of a uh, slightly more cautious swishing. I could do with another heart now as well after that little run in. Oh, I don't want to fight you yet. Oh, I'm going to have to. All right. Just have to be careful. That's not good. Maybe it was in the middle of doing that and I didn't realise it. Okay. Ow. The, the bush is... The bush, the log, the bush. The, the log's in the block and the bush. Damn. Nuts. Oh boy, too. Uh. There we go. Ooh, you dropped a heart. Perfect. I'll take the rest of the bushes out anyway. Well, here's the thing. Leaving them, though, means... Maybe the hearts only appear when you lose health. So if I leave the bushes, that means I'm leaving the health behind in case I need it. Ah! Oh, that was sneaky. I couldn't see it. Whew. Wait, is this where I meant to go? This looks... Distinctly like the right way to go. Ah! Oh, really? It didn't look like I was close enough to get a hit, though. I seem to have a rather large hitbox going on. Can't say I appreciate that. Uh oh Well, that's not fair, is it? Now I need to find another heart. Oh, there was nothing down there either. That was literally a dead end, I just realised. Yep, can't go that way. So I was going the right way. I thought I was. This direction. Now is it straight this way or is it up? How come they... Th I hate that. How the hell are they preempted where I'm going? That was sort of you. Man, I'm getting hit so much. Never mind lessons in swinging the sword. I need lessons in not being hit by every single bloody bad guy I run into.
I'm kind of conflicted about, like, it's nice to just have to worry about getting your health back if you get hit by something, but it's also, you know, there's no chests or items kicking around. I'm sure there's things you can pick up as the game goes on. Like, uh, Arco mentioned that there was other conduits, so at some point we'll get stronger weapons, but... I guess there's no, like, tokens or... Or, or, yeah, I'm thinking the classic things, coins or whatever. There's nothing like that. But it's fine. The game doesn't need that kind of stuff. It just feels... Maybe it's just me, but it feels a little bit empty without that stuff in it. But I get it. This is purely focused on the adventure side of things. I'm not expecting there to be a shop or anything. Oh, nice. Ah. Peaceful. I just realised there's like fireflies. I'm assuming these little yellow. I'm assuming these are fireflies. That's super adorable too. Nice little touches, you know. And uh, the the way the lily pads are kind of floating in the water and the flower. That, it's just nice little extra bits and pieces that just make it just feel a bit more like cozy. Uh oh, you don't know friendly. You tap me on the shoulder. Uh, what the hell? Oh, hi friend. Oh. I was instant. I like doesn't look friendly. Comes over and says hi, friend. Now I feel instantly bad. I shouldn't judge books by their covers or ghosts by their horns or antlers. I guess. Lots of roamers out tonight, don't you think? Not safe. Not safe at all. You better get inside while you still can. Something ominous is in the air. Yeah, you. Uh, I love the way Ari's looking. Kind of like, just like, eyes up kind of thing. It's, 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 it's so many lovely touches in this. Wait, you're a, a bound, aren't you? I, uh, I guess. Great. Tell you what, uh, come and find me tomorrow and we'll do some business, you and me. Wait, is this the shop? D -d 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 does, this, does this entity sell things? The name's Midri, by the way. Oh, uh, now I've got to scoot. Wait, Midri. Midri. In one of the option, men in the menu thing, there was a Midri thing. Wait. Wasn't there? Um. Certainly not safe for you tonight. Are we going to talk about that? What? What was that all about? That was a midid, Mididarian. That's a word. One of the ethereal races that inhabit the spirit realm. They are friendly entities who work as sort of merchants in the realm. They often use bounds as mediums to bring them whatever they might want at that moment. Oh, a quest giver. I see. And it's usually well worth it. We should definitely track him down once we get the chance. And just when I thought this night couldn't get any weirder. Oh, there's a whole bunch of weirdness coming. There, Midri's tasks. There we go. Roma cores and spirit cubs. So collectibles and quests. And okay, that, that little menu is shaping up to be very interesting and intriguing. I can't wait to open that stuff up. Okay, bring it on, Roma. That wasn't a good swing. That was better. Oh boy, this is a lot of roaming. Friends. Woo! I hit the... Oh, what happened there? It's twice I've been hit when I wasn't expecting to be hit. Does this have a heart in it? Damn. Damn. Ah, fucking bastard things! I hate that! No matter where you're standing, it turns and faces your direction, which is smart, but also irritating. <laughs> I need some more health now. Oh, it's another bush that I can't move yet. So there's some exploration points when we get to that. Oh, come on. Thank you. Just in time for the next screen. I'm not touching any of these bushes. Ah. Hold on for just a second. Look. Oh. See it? 
there's something shining on the ground. That's Grandma's ring! Good eyesight, Ari. Just like she said. I know Roma's in sight. Oh, don't you worry. As soon as we go to the middle of this big, massive puddle. Let's grab it while we can. It seems odd. Why would they just leave? Because there's something much nastier kicking around waiting to say hello. Maybe Grandma got it wrong and they weren't after the ring. Uh-huh. What is thou, my... Oh! Hey, what are you doing to the ring? Sucking the silver out of it. Nom, 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 nom. What is that? Uh, uh, it's one huge Roma, I can tell you that much. Oh, no. It's Nom and the ring! It's absorbing energy through the ring. This is bad. Well, I didn't think it was going to be good. It could do that? No time to explain. Ari, what we do is your choice. Oh, uh, he's actually calling her Ari as well. That's nice. I know sometimes the kind of like, uh, uh, like the, 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 the kind of, uh, Stiffer characters sometimes don't like using people's nicknames and stuff and keep going by formalities, but it's super nice to see Arco just slip into that. If we leave now, it'll only get stronger and start to multiply. But I'm afraid it might be way out of our league already. Let me at him! Let me at him! This is definitely not the way I had planned this night to play out. You make the call. Given the circumstances, retreat is as good a plan as any. No. No retreat, no surrender. Yeah, but risk losing the ring? No way. Trust myself more, right? Okay. We're taking it down. Whoa, holy shit. Um, 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 hold. Hold! Whoa, those things can... Ah! Oh, it, it ties itself out. But I can only hit it once per time. Yeah, I can't hurt it until it's tired. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. This is fine. I, I took one hit, but I think I'm good. Oh, shit. Ah, this wasn't part of the deal. Ah! Tired. Hit. Okay, now it's going to do the same thing again, right? It's going to swish and leave some more friends behind. Oh, shit. Never mind. It's going to do that next time. I assume. There we go. Whoa! Ah, no! Come on! Shoot! Okay, just jump, 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 jump again. No! Okay, you know what? It's fine. Oh, come on! No! No, it's doing it again! Holy shit! No! Oh, God! Oh, he keeps jumping until I take these guys out. No! 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 Oh, come on! <laughs> I didn't realize that was how it worked. Oh, okay, now I get it. Now I get it. Now I get it. Okay, take out your buddies first. It's hard to do that when he's on the jump, but. That's mean. Oh. Hey, I got a gifty. What did I get? You have found it. Uh, something. No idea what it is, but you better take it anyways. Yeah, it's gift wrapped and everything. Can't leave that behind. Also the ring, of course. 
got the ring. Only died once. All in all, a good night's work. Good job. Hey, you handle yourself great. I knew you had it in you. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just forget what happened the first time. These Romas were probably drawn here because of your grandmother. She was in more danger than you could ever imagine, coming all the way up here, alone. But in the end, it seems they found the ring more interesting, rather than her. Strange there were so many of them in the forest, though. I wonder where they crept out from. I'm sure we'll find out. What's so interesting over there? I just saw my reflection for the first time. Is that what you want to look like? No wonder you thought I was a ghost. Hey, we can talk about it later. Let's get back to the cabin. I'm sure Grandma's eagerly waiting for us to return. Yeah. Let's go. Let me guess, our parents aren't going to be able to see any of this at all, and they're going to be super confused about the what we're doing. We're going to be adventuring all summer. We managed to get it back. Oh, really? Bless you. Now, come morning, give it to your mother. And don't tell her anything about this. I don't think she'd believe us. She worries too much already. W what will I say? You're a clever girl. You'll think of something. You're I might be clever, but you have the wisdom of age and also... Afterlife knowledge and stuff. Surely you can think of something I can tell her. No, I guess not. Well, it's my time to go. Do you want to use the boat? Please don't. I mean, she's already dead, Harry. Actually, imagine how rough that would be. How tough would this be? I couldn't even imagine. I mean, I'd be grateful to even just have five more minutes but I, it would suck when that time was done but then you could look back again and say well that's why you've got to make the most of the time you actually do have you know oh I'm going to get all reflective this game's going to make me super reflective on things and it's probably going to make me cry more than once Ari you know I have to can I also just like can I also just give a shout out to Ari, Ari's hair blowing around it just I love this I love I love that little animation Grandma I'm going to miss this place and all of you the cool breeze on my cheek And what comes to your new ability? Akko told me all about it before. Do whatever you see best. Murder all the local wildlife. Whatever. Listen to your heart. Listen to your heart. Sorry. Watched an episode of Always Sunny the other day that has that song as a kind of running theme through it, and it's been in my head ever since. So that sentence just sent me right back again. Thanks for that one, game. Appreciate that one, game. I love you. Not. I'll be watching over you. Psych. Please. I'm sorry, dear. If I don't leave on my own, they'll drag me, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry you got mixed into this. It's all my fault. But don't leave on a downer like that. But for what it's worth, I'm sure everything happens for a reason. Grandma! Zoom. Do we get another hug? Looks like we're getting a hug. That's nice. Goodbye, Arietta. Oh. Bye, Grandma. I love you. 
Oh, it's too early in the game for this to be happening. Come on. She, she's gone. Kind of. What, what did you think when you went to get her the sentimental item that she left behind? Think she's just gonna stick around? Ghost Grandma. Airing Monday nights, nine p.m. Is this a dream? Can I wake up now? I'm really sorry. Even though I kind of dragged you into this as well. This all must be too much for you. After I came into contact with your grandmother, I made the choice to bring you to her. She was against it, as she knew what it would mean. But because of you, she was able to move on. I mean, that's a good thing, right? No, it's... I'm okay. I'm really glad I got to see her one last time. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I would have never been able to help her. What happens now? You should go back to sleep. You might want to take some time to process all of this. Plus, it's super fudge and lit. And you know for a fact your parents are going to wake you up early in the morning because you've got some more summer vacation work to do on the cabin. Yet, there is one more thing. What's this, a Columbo moment? Like I told you before, we only share our powers with humans who we deem worthy. But you will also get to choose... The power that I have granted you can be unbound, if you wish so. It is a great burden to be carried, after all. The relationship between a bound and their spirit guide is always a two-way street. I'm pretty sure I didn't have much choice when it first happened, but nice to know I can reverse it. Your newfound ability is only active when we are together. Should you ask me to, I will release myself from you and... Everything will be just like before. But the truth is, we need as many in this as is possible. The number of Romas is rising faster than ever. That puts everyone in danger. And the way you handled yourself tonight is nothing short of astonishing. Why? Psh. Don't mention it. Take your time to think it through. She falls asleep standing up. I'm not thinking, I'm just really tired. I... I should go back to sleep. Yeah, probably a good idea, yeah. Yeah. I know you don't feel it. But it's freezing cold here. <laughs> I need to get in some warm blankies, you know what I mean? Let's get inside. Oh, she's inviting Arco in. How sweet. Talk so damn cozy. If not a little bit hard on the back. Huh? Uh. Was it just a dream? The ring! Still in your pocket. Every time! Sneaking up on me. I'll sock you one day. It's all real. The ring? I have to give it to Mom. You know... You could just leave it on her bedside table. No. I made a promise. I need to give it to her. What are you going to say? I'm just going to tell her that I found it. I mean, that seems like a good enough thing to say. 
Why wouldn't that work? Morning. Good morning, sweetie. You slept late. I was tired after all that travelling as well. Um, yeah. That's why I slept. That's why I slept so long, for sure. <clears throat> Mom? Yes. Uh, I found this ring. Okay, bye. I believe this is yours. Huh. What's this? Oh, my. This... This is Grandma's ring. Where did you get this? I, uh, found it. Just, um, lying on the ground. I mean, that's not a lie. This is our family ring. It's priceless beyond belief. We're not about to sell that, are you? Are we that hard up? Is this not just a summer vacation? Are we living in this cabin now? Did we go off the grid? It's been in our family for... Ages. Yeah, I know. I thought it was lost. I'm so glad it's safe. Well, that was easy. Mother, thank you. How on earth did you manage to find this? You're just lucky, I guess. Actually, you know what? You take it. You're going to trust me with it? I guess I found it. Find his keepers, right? What? You would have gotten it eventually anyway. With me, it would just gather dust in a box. I wouldn't dare to wear it. <laughs> and Grandma had it on her finger all the time. I'm sure this is what she would have wanted too. Seriously? Just promise to take real good care of it, okay? I promise. I put it on my finger and never take it off. See? A perfect fit. What a coincidence. Looking good there. Okay, so. What are you going to do today? I don't know. I'm going to walk out the cabin and then Dad's going to throw a million chores at me. Probably. Want to come and pick some blueberries with me? I, uh, I think I'm going to explore the island a bit. Okay. Dear. I'll catch you later. Wouldn't even come pick blueberries with me. I just gave her a priceless family heirloom. Jeez, what's it going to take to get a bit of mother-daughter time around here? Stay safe. I will. See you, Mom. Yay. Uh. Have you seen your dad anywhere? Oh, he's probably out chopping more wood or, I don't know, fishing. Something. So, still on the verge of deciding about this? Kinda, yeah. Don't pressure me or anything. But I'm ready to see more. That's the spirit. Get it? Spirit? Because spirit realm? I can make jokes too. No pun intended. No, there was pun intended, Arco. Don't pretend. Don't pretend you were trying to be funny and then retracted it when Ari didn't laugh. Okay, what's our next move? There's a surge of energy emanating from the northern part of the island. I noticed it last night. It's the same direction from where that huge Roma came from. Any idea what's up there? The mine. The abandoned silver mine is in that direction. Grandma did mention it. That's where the ring was made. Well, it, no, it was made using silver from the mine. That wasn't made in the mine. Probably. But no one's been there in ages. I don't know if the trail even exists anymore. And you have to go through a dark cave in order to reach it. Well then, we've got some fun ahead of us, don't we? We might have a flashlight somewhere in the cabin, though. No need for that. I can use my energy to light your way. Let's look for that trail. Well then. What are we waiting for? All the time, Dad's just around the side of the cabin like... What the hell is she doing? 
Smashing. Where is Dad anyway? Papa? Father? Not here. Garden? Oh, I didn't see he was going to ask about with the garden. No, he's not in the garden. There's the blueberries, though. Oh, look, I can take the bushes out. We can see the carrots. Wait, hang on, the well? I got water. Oh, I'm going to have to do this at some point, aren't I? Guarantee I'm going to have to water the garden at some point, but that's going to make a nice change from fighting demons. Where did Dad go? Do you think he's in trouble? Do you think do you think we have to do some action action pack stuff to save his life or something? Wait, is it this way we're going? But you said it was the same way that the No, we went here to Didn't we go here to do the wasp? That's where the tree is. So I think we go back the same way we went to fight the giant Romer and yeah, I think that's the way we're meant to go. So we are we are ending this video in the same spot we started it, except this time it's daylight. Well, until we get to the cave anyway. This is so fun. I I think I've passed where the demo ended now. I'm still not 100% sure, but I think we have passed where I originally played to. Um, I think we fought the giant roamer and gave Mom the ring, and I think that's where the... I'm not sure. I'm not sure, and I'm still not looking. I'm still looking because if my memory's that bad, then it's fine because it's all going to feel like new to me. Um, but why did I pause it? I don't need to pause it. There's nothing even happening here. We could just leave this little jolly music on and and just leave everything just chill and nice like this. Uh, this is a delight. I really am looking forward to playing the rest of this game and playing it in full. Oh, it's going to be so dang exciting. Uh, and if you want to uh, grab a hold of Ariete of Spirits for yourselves, then... I am going to pop the store links below. I'm not sure if it's for sale in more than one place. Um, but I'll dig around, find out, and I'll put all the relevant links down there. So you can grab it and play it for yourself if you would so like. It's not very good sense, but I'm sticking with it. Um, and as per usual, if you have any games you want to see me playing or anything like that, just let me know. Uh, I do have a game list kicking around, which I might also include in the uh, links below. But you can find all that stuff on the Discord too. I don't know, just promote all the stuff at the same time. But I'm not going to because that would be a very long ending and I've already waffled on for long enough. So I will just say, we'll be back to play some more Arieta of Spirits super duper soon. And I really appreciate having you, all of you here. Love and appreciate you all so much. And uh, I'll see you super duper soon. Bye.